everyone. I think it's a we are live. I want to make sure I get my mic. My goodness. So if you can tell me if you can hear me, that would be awesome. I got so much in store for you tonight. I hope that you get, oh, talking about water. Hmm. I need to get my water. One minute. Because I know I'm going to talk a lot tonight, so I need my water. And trust me, it's just water in there, okay? I'm going to start right now with, I'm going to wet my whistle. And so I see we got people coming in. Well, before we get started, I got one question to ask you. And, well, before you answer, here's the deal. We're going to have two tries tonight. And to be participate in the prize you have to leave a comment if you leave 50 comment your name just still going to be entered once okay so don't click hello 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 it's still going to be just one so i want to make sure that is clear thank you for sharing um and i saw terry sharing everybody please tell your friend to come and join us so we're going to have two prizes: one in about midway and one at the end but to get enter in the price, you have to leave a comment. And this is beyond my control. When uh, it's a YouTube live video, you need to be logged in with your Google account. A lot of the time you're already with Google. You don't realize that. So if you can leave a comment, great. If not, that's the reason why. It's because you have to be logged in with Google, okay? So one of the prize, it's going to be a tumbler. I know Stamping Up got tumbler now, but this one it's a uh, stamp and scrap with Frenchie, and I love Stamping Up, okay? And this here, well, see, this is mine at all the time. Now I'm anxious to get the colorful one, but this here, it, they are the best. It's almost like those, um, oh, I cannot remember the name of it those super expensive ones well i pay quite a bit for them um, they last you can put hot or cold they last cold along pretty much all day and hot my whole morning it stay hot one thing though i'm going to tell you do not do not put it in the dishwasher okay and of course you cannot put it in the microwave because it's metal so we're going to have one of that and we're going to have one of it's the carbon but me i use them by my um where i do the die cut and it say voila on it with uh, frenchystamps.com and this is see it's a collapsible one okay so that's the door price for today our screen price i call it okay so with that being said now you know how this is going to go well i'm going to ask you a question so that's a reason because some people are afraid to ask question or leave comment well i'm going to ask you a question and at the end of the evening i'm going to ask you pretty much the same question but i i want to see if your answer going to be switching so with that being said what is the one I, oops, I moved this. Dang, dang, dang. I had it set up just right. Hmm. In the catalog, the annual catalog, what is the one product that you cannot wait to have your hand on it? Maybe you already ordered it yesterday or today because the catalog went out live. Doesn't matter. What is the number one thing that you cannot wait to play with? So go ahead, leave your comment. So throughout the evening, I'm going to share many tips through the walkthrough of the catalog, I call. If it's not the first time that you do a walkthrough with the catalog with me, maybe you're going to think that I'm a break, broken record. But it's nice to get a refresh because sometimes we forget. But don't forget that many times we get newcomer. So I want to make sure everybody, it doesn't matter if this is your 18 catalog walkthrough with me 
or if it's the first one, okay? I'm going to walk through it. Now, if you went to my blog today at frenchystamps.com, if you didn't go, you should, because you get different printouts. So we get the labels. You see, mine, I decide to put color on it. This is just a regular printing uh, labels that you can put in your printer for, um, it's the Avery, the regular one. I got all the size on my uh, thing. When you print them, it say it's um, a tight on the merge or whatever, say print as is, no fixing, okay? I explain all that so you can print them. So I'm going to share how to put the labels on your catalog throughout the evening. I won't do every one, but I'm going to show you how it's done. It's very simple and it is free. You just have to download it for free. Well, you're going to have to buy your labels, but the download, it's free. You don't have to do anything. Just go there and download it. Okay. Now... I'm going to talk about um, the recipe book there. I'm going to wait when I pull that down. It's going to be easier. But if you didn't, I hope you already print your shopping list. I'm not calling it a wish list anymore. I'm calling it a shopping list, right? It's a two different thing. I think a shopping list, mean, it's more meaning, it means something. So on the shopping list, right on the side there, you get kind of your index. You get all your sweets. So it's a very quick reference to look because sometimes you, you're not familiar with the catalog. Even when we're going to put the tab, well, sometimes looking through the accessories and so on there, it's going to help you navigate the catalog a lot easier. And, you know, you don't have to rip every page to find something. So very very useful shopping list again you just have to download it and print it don't cost you anything fill that thing up and then i'm going to share the recipe of the catalog per se okay so are we ready to start i am i am so i got ollie at the other end ollie it's my um uh, my right hand when it comes to any type of live video live event uh, she used to come at my house in Cheyenne when I was there, but now I'm in Texas. And with the world of the internet, it's just like we're in the same room. So Holly is in Cheyenne. She's the one that answers most of your questions. So if you see Holly Peterson, she she's the one that answered for me because those comments go so fast. For me, it's like, doo -doo 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 -doo. I mean, and then I talk a lot. I'm I'm. Susie Talk, right? What is that uh, name of that doll? Susie Talk a lot? That's pretty much me. And <coughs> also, when I get to create, like tonight we won't create much. I'm going to create a little bit though. It's, um, I, I forget about those comments. But be reassured though that I read every comment after we're done. Okay? So, okay. Let me flip you down. And... We will get started. Okay, so like I said, I had this all set up and then I moved this. So now I have to go back here. Okay, so before we get started with the catalog, I want to remind you about my customer uh, appreciation uh, for this month. So this month, it is, well, let me bring a few up. So it's the tab for all the product, like the stamp set, dies, embossing folder, name it, you're going to have it, you're going to have the, the dies. I, I mean the dies, the label. So the label, like for the die, is going to tell you the name of the die. It's going to tell you the number, what page it is, and how many dies. Now, if it's a die that coordinate with a stamp set, because me, I get them both. If you ask me where I get those with the tab here and it's a magnet in there, 
I got that from Stampin' Storage, okay? That's where I got my container. Okay, so the dies, it tell you the name of the die, again, the number, the page, so on, the catalog, because uh, my viewer asked that I add the catalog, because I've been doing that for, oh, I'm going to say about five years. So, it say like this, it's the AC Annual Catalog 22-23. It get 11 dies. And it tells you it coordinate with what. So let's say you grab a die. And I think I got, yeah, I got one here. That didn't fit in my stamp case. So this one here, nat uh, natural print. If I grab that, it's not with my dies because it was bigger than my case. It tell me right away, it coordinate with natural print on page 91 okay so that's a beauty of it another thing that um, it's going to tell you for the dies if the die fit all the dies so if one don't fit it won't show it's going to have the little m on it for this one i would think that they all fit maybe this one don't fit in the mini machine okay so let me check another one, make sure I get that correctly. Yep. So this one, see, you get the M. So the minute you grab it, you don't even have to wonder, is it going to fit in the mini machine or not? Because it's going to tell you right there. Like this one is the stylish uh, shape. That's a bit like the stitch shape, but they're not really stitch. It's like dots instead. So it say right there, all them, if you get an M, that means all of them fit in the mini. If you don't have the M, that means that it's at least one of the die that won't fit in the mini machine. Okay. So that is my customer appreciation for the month of May. That is with the hostess code right above there, DVBSJMF6. Only with $20 order or more. So it's not much, just $20. Many of you are going to ask, am I going to sell the label? And the answer is no. This is a, a team effort. So my team, um, we... Uh, share uh, the pdf so they offer it also in their business if they in for the business so to make it fair nobody can sell it it's only offer with qualify order so it's a way to tell our customer thank you for doing business with us and so that's the only way i know some of you are from canada watching me or australia or Timbuktu, whatever, you cannot shop with me, I am sorry. When it comes to the customer appreciation, that is strictly a customer appreciation. I feel that I want to give something extra to my customer. I know they get a lot of choice to shop, and I want to show my appreciation. So some stuff, it's strictly for customer appreciation. So, and also, you get, like, the name of... Uh, like the folder and so on what it's nice about that it gives you the page so you can go look at it a lot of time you get some ideas of it okay so if you are in my team and you're wondering well how come i don't have the labels and you see the team check your team minutes yesterday was the team meeting i sent the minutes make sure you open that you're going to have your labels right there very important that you open your minutes Talking about the team, before I keep on going, I want to bring your attention to one thing. I, and then I want to face you because I want you to see my face because I'm serious or I want to be uh, very upfront about joining my team. It's always a great time to join my team. It's never a bad time because to join Stamping Up and my team, it's $99 and it's shipped to you for free. But you get to choose $125 of product of your choice. That can be anything. It can be dye, it can be paper, it can be ink, it can be folder, punch, whatever, your choice. 
The only thing that you cannot uh, choose, it's the Stamping Rewards product. And this, in the new catalog, they're on page 179. So the Stamping Rewards, that cannot be choose in your 125. The rest, it's a fair game. You cannot go a dollar over or 50 cents, 25 cents over the computer it's set up that it will not let you. Even if you say, hey, I'm gonna pay the difference, no biggie. The computer will not let you go over. So you wanna reach about as close as you can of the 125. Now, with the 125, you're gonna get a past paper pumpkin, another 22.50 value. Now, for this month of May, years on me, this is amazing. You're gonna get the new in color, 2022-24 product, a value of 66 and 50 cents value. You're gonna get five ink pad, all the new in color ink pad. You're gonna get the cardstock. You're gonna get the designer series paper pattern of the in color, and you're gonna get grid paper of the in color. All that for $99 plus tax, no shipping. So you're getting $214 of product delivered to you for $99 plus tax. That's it. It is no string attached. Look at me, absolutely no string attached, my friend. If you decide just to get the kit and say, oh, I cannot do more than that, so be it. Or you can keep on uh, shopping and then you're gonna get a discount. The minimum discount is 20%. And depending on each month, if you reach different threshold, you can get more than that. But the minimum, it's 20% every time you're gonna be shopping. Now, the trick or the little uh, clause to stay active, meaning to keep the discount going, you have to purchase or sell. You don't have to sell. That's optional. You can, if you want, though. You can, you know, make a little bit of a turn this to be a business or not. The choice is yours. So to stay what I call active, you need to purchase or sell $300 of product quarterly. Quarterly, that means three months. That is before the discount. So 300 20%, that's uh, $60, bring it down to 240 240 divided by three, it's $80 a month, the average. That's to stay active, that's quarterly. But the quarter that you join right now, we're in May, you don't have to meet your quarterly minimum. That's the only quarter you don't have to. If you purchase something, it will carry for the next quarter. Again, that's the only quarter that it happened. After that, each quarter, let's say a quarter you spend $900 or you sell $900, the following quarter you still have to reach the 300. It don't carry over like that, okay? I'm all up front here. I'm not hiding anything, my friends. So the choice is yours but i couldn't let this night pass without inviting you to join my team we got i do a monthly meeting like last night was the first tuesday of the month the only time i'm going to change it if it's i'm away well <clears throat> that's why i couldn't do the walkthrough even if it was the first day of the catalog my team was coming there because that's i say it's the first tuesday that's all optional you want to come at the meeting awesome I'm going to share all what's coming up with stepping up, all the news and so on. We do uh, swaps when a new catalog comes. That's right now we're doing a swap. That means you're making nine cards of the same and you're getting eight different ones. You're mailing it to me. I mail it back to you at no cost on my dime. Then when it's not a catalog, I do a challenge. If you follow me on my blog, you see the challenge. Then I send the raw product, like the next uh, challenge is going to be um, the in color. So I send everybody the in color cardstock. They have to build a card, send it to me. Everybody that participate get entered in the drawing. So last night we had two drawings because we had 26 that decide to participate. That's awesome. So 13 cards, 13 cards. That was with the abstract beauty. 
So everyone, it's something fun. But again, the choice is yours, my friend. You can participate if you want or not. But one thing I promise you, this deal, it's a sweet deal without no string attached. I promise you that. Okay, now back down the road. And all the monthly PDF, you know, custom appreciation, my team get access to all that. All the extra paper pumpkin PDF, you know, downloads, the extra inspiration, my team got access to that. So it's, it's worth joining Frenchie's team, trust me. Okay, so now I got the host code there that I will remove because I don't want that to take away from our uh, catalog, okay? So again, it's worth $20. If you forget about it, you can go at my blog. It will be there. Okay, I see the thing about the, let me make that clear. The 5160, 5260, it, some number can be different, but the size, it's all the same. Depends on the type of box you're buying. So one minute. Very important. The same, same. Uh-oh, dang it. One second, my friend. Okay, this one, it's not even Avery. But the template, it is 5160 when you look at the template. But maybe your box won't say 5160 because if you get a big box, it won't be 5160. See, like somebody said it was 5260, it's because of the difference of the box. So the template, it's when you look at the template, it's the 30, so 10 per row, 3, three wide and 10 down, okay? Here we go. So I wanted to make sure that, cause you know, it, it depends on the box and if you get a laser or if you got um, inkjet, that can be different, but I got the size on my blog, I got the size. So talking about the blog, I want to bring you there right now because I got a few things and then we're going to get started one of those days. So on my blog today, we got, oops, let's go there. Uh, about joining my team right away at the top, it say join and I got a Q&A. You click on that, you can join right there or I got a lot of the question and answer there. Some people get question, you can read that there, okay? If, your answer, if you get a question, it's not there, please shoot it to me. So here it is on my blog for today's post. You're gonna find about the catalog walkthrough. Now, if you wanna watch the replay, whatever, here is the shopping list I told you about. I say that I think everybody should have that and maybe keep it in the front of the catalog because you get all those pages that are going to come very handy down the road, okay? I think that is very good. So that you get it, click here to print. So you can print it right there. Now the free catalog tab, that's what I get here. That it's the same than our product, the same type of label. I'm trying to keep everything the same label year after year because if you buy a box then you're going to have it right so here it is the same then the catalog labels so i decide for me to um you know add some color so uh, i use stamping blends for that you want to print two sheet and you're going to see why you want to print two sheet in a minute okay so print two sheets now you get the link right here. Now, here it is, the label size. It's one by two and five eight. It doesn't matter the brand and so on. It gives you the, the size right there. So that's what you want. And see, your margin, it's pretty small. Some of your content might be cut off. Do you, do you still want to print? You click yes. You don't say adjust or nothing, absolutely not, because it will not fit in your labels. You click yes. 
You print it as is. If you don't have a catalog, you can view it online. If you shop with me, you don't have a catalog, please let me know. I'm going to make sure that you get one. If not, please contact your demonstrator. If you don't have a demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator. Okay, now you get for the labels, you get the hostess code right there. Now, throughout, and then you get the deal for joining right here. Throughout the evening, uh, no, just once maybe, I'm going to share about the catalog. You know, if you're not sure, like this card here, I made it, it was fun. Uh, if you're not sure, you're like, oh, I don't know which green is that. I don't know where that greeting come from and so on. Right at the top of my blog, I didn't put it in this post because I got another blog post just coming about casing the catalog. But if you go under chart stamping 101, that is one thing I'm going to send you there often. So if you get your pen and paper, mark it at frenchystamps.com chart stamping 101 at the top you're going to click on that click on print out chart there you get the golden nuggets free free golden nuggets right there so right here you get the recipe book and i don't think i update it yet because i put the picture and i said and yesterday was a crazy day so i will update that right when we're done you're gonna have it's 180 page, okay? And it tells you everything that you can know about the that. And then you get your color inventory. You get the color coach. And you get for the in color. The in color, it's, I already put it in, I think. Did I? Yes. So the in color, it's right there. You can print it and it's free. So... All that stuff here, it's all free to you. So keep that in mind. So, yes, it's free, but I'm going to be honest with you. It's nice to work and share everything for free, but also I need to eat some food once in a while. So if you love what I share, don't be shy to give me a bones run once in a while. Meeting, don't be shy to place an order with me once in a while. You can shop with more than one demonstrator. That's what I'm saying. So I don't want to take you away from a demonstrator, but if you learn quite a bit from Frenchie and that you get quite a bit of extra token, well, placing an order once in a while, once in the blue moon would be just right, right? So thank you in advance for all of you that support me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. We're going to start, I'm going to show you how to place the label, and then we I'm going to share all those things. So I use um, whatever it's called, um, silicone mat. And I want to remove this here. Here we go. And here we go. So I put a straight line, and really what I did, I put that on my grid paper, and right now, talking about grid paper, you know you can have the in-color grid paper. I put that on my uh, grid paper, and I use a ruler. Now I don't even know where I get a ruler in this joint. Uh, okay, and I just went to straight line to a straight line, so I knew it was straight on the grid paper. That's why grid paper, it's amazing. So I went and poof, did a line. And then I move down two, so it's half inch. If you wonder, I move two square, that is half inch, and I went and did another one. So that helped me big time, did I say big time, to put my labels. That's the trick that makes it so easy to put your labels. Now, I did the labels different this year. Last year was the label with, um, whatchamacallit, let me think, uh, stamping up. This year they got it, but they just got it yesterday. It was too late for me. I already had done that. And I think I like these kind of better. So what I done on the label, I put the page there. 
So you're going to have to decide which page you want it. And I'm going to talk about that in a bit. So I'm going to take the sweet table of content. So I'm going to take that. But before I put the, the thing there, we're going <clears> to, <throat> let me move this. So right here, you get all your, the table of every suite. Suite, it means it's a bundle and get a bunch of product that coordinated all together. You get your list right here. You get your accessory and more, how to join the index. And then you get the catalog icon. And by the way, the end it's in red throughout the catalog, not here. Wish they would have put it red though. Um, when you see the end, that means it's new of this catalog, okay? New, new release. The two little tulip, they're side by side there. That means it's a reversible stamp, like mountain air. Remember, I think that was our first one. And then you get the distinctive ink. That's, you get the icon. And when they share a quick and easy... Here we go. Quick and easy, you get the clock. That means it's quick and easy. And you get ENFR, that means when it's available in French and in English. Okay? So for the table, it's say on page three. So me, the way that I like to put that, I put the bottom line that is my, uh, my first one. And then I'm going to take... And at the top, usually you get a little something to tell you what it is. This page don't have. So I'm just going to not go right at the corner, but just above. And then I align that to my right there to the line. Now we're going to flip this down. And we're going to put that right here. Okay, so I colored that in red. So now you see why you need two, right? So that is why you need two of your, um, whichever it's called. Let me think. The labels. Now we're going to go on page 12. So you got, I want to go through every page, okay? I'm going to go through quite a bit. But now on page 11, I won't spend a lot of time here because it's the kids. The kit come and go. So that's why they're not in the catalog anymore. But anytime you go shopping online, look at the kit and you're going to see which one are available. That's my best advice I can give you because the kids come and go as they please. On page 10, it tells you about paper pumpkins. So if you want to do the prepaid, that's the best way to do it. So I didn't even put a tab for the kits. And the reason why, it's because really it's no number there, okay? You look through the online store. Could have put the tab for Paper Pumpkin, but now we know it's right there at the beginning. Now, pretty much the catalog start. So here it's the occasion. So now the occasion, it go from page 12 to 45. This one, I didn't put no color. Some of them I leave it plain, some of them I put color. So page 12 to 45. So 12, it's on this page. But me, I like to have where I put my tab, that's the first page that it opened. So I'm going to put it on 13. So the choice is going to have to be yours, okay? The, the, I cannot say, well, you know, put it on 12, because if I pull 12, if my tab is there, really it's going to open 11, and really this is not all the occasion. So that's why I say it's way better for me if I do it on the main page that it's, it's when I flip, but that's op optional. So now... When I put my first one, see, I did a little tick there. That's where my number two is going to start, okay? So I'm going to go ahead, put my, even if it's overlap a bit, that's okay. I'm going to put my occasion there, follow the line, that make it straight, flip it over, and then I'm going to put that up right in the back of the other one. Boom. 
So C now, this need to be there. They overlap very nicely. Okay, so with that being said, so now when I pull this, let's say it's here, I pull this, see it start right there at the occasion. It start on page 12, but page 12 it's over there. So now here is a suite. So this suite here, come with the paper, come with the, I forgot to order them when it was the pre-order. They're on their way. I cannot wait to put my hand on that though. So um, I don't have this suite though. That was a pre-order, but I don't have it. I, I'm at the point that I won't get everything in the catalog because we switch too often. And I really, what I'm going to get, you're going to get a lot of samples with it. Put it that way. So when you see I use a stamp set or a bundle, know that you're going to see more than one creation with them. So you get the designer series paper, that's uh, six by six. And then you get the, the cards and you get the stamp, the uh, cards and envelope. You get the stamp and the die. So you get the whole suite. Now, when a new um, bundle is released, you get 10%. Well, 10% of the stamp set and the die. You can use the number for the bun, uh, the suites over here. The suite gonna include the paper, the cards, but the 10% is just on this here. Why I'm very specific about that, it's cause sometimes we don't do back order anymore. So sometimes let's say the cards are out and people's like, well, I wanna wait cause I wanna make sure I get my discount on my bundle and so on. You can get it, get it, because you can order this and this, and then you still get your 10% on this. It's a good chance if you wait for this, by the time this came back, well, we're out, we're temporary uh, out of stock on the bundle, on the, the dies, put it that way. So the 10% is just on the stamps and die or the stamps and punch, okay? Anytime you get a bundle or a sweep, it's the same. So that's how. Now you get the color below, that's your color coordination with the paper. It's just a few there, you get more than that. Meaning more than that, let me bring you there. And so if we go at the designer series paper in the back and we're gonna go to the tea party. So you see the tea party here? So here it gives you all the color. You get crumb cake, crushed curry, fresh fuchsia, Orchid Oasis, Parakeet Party, Petal Pink, Starry Sky, Sweet Sherbet, and Taishan Thai. So you see, you get them all listed there. Well, when you get it on the main catalog, you just get the main one listed. See, they get crumb cake in that, but they don't have it listed here for an example. So remember that the color that they list there, it can be more and you got it in the back of the catalog. Now talking about that, some of you ordered the uh, paper, paper share. So it was not all of them, it was a pre-order. They're on the way though, I'm gonna finish that. But anyone that got the paper share, you're going to get the download of this. And not only the download, but you're going to get, let me grab here. You're going to get the index card too. What I like about the index card, it's miniature that you can keep right there where you're working. You get all the color listed and you get the pattern. So it's easy to flip through or you can get the big one. I still have three paper share available. Some like to reserve the paper share and decide not to pay. So if that's one of you, please, if you don't plan to do it, don't reserve it. So I get three paper share. You can contact me if you want one of them. It's $59.95 or $59.50 plus the shipping. But that will include the download too for the paper. Paper share, what's the beauty about that? It come in the six by six, but then it's a way you can see all the paper in your hand. And trust me, it's very different. Okay, so now we talk about the suite. Now, sample, here we go. Now we start, we already got some sample. 
So throughout the evening, I'm going to have some sample, okay? So now I got some sample with Sending Smile. So Sending Smile, this is going to be my thank you card for this month. And what I did, I use every in color. So it's just to say the in color this year goes so well together. So, so well together. So see, I did different background, but look, very simple. But at the same time, it's a great way to see the colors. Now note that this come with the dyes. I'm a little bit allergic, I think, to dyes. So not only that, but when you make hundreds of cards, I cannot die, die cut that. I would have, I mean, I would break it down in sweats, right? So here it is, a very great example of the in color with this stamp set and that you can get with, uh, if you like to have the dies, you can have it there. Now, here's another one. I got more sample on this page. This one here, this is a bundle, but with the punch. I want to bring you something to the punch. You got the shaker too that goes with that. So let me show with you. I want to share something, something with this. Shakers are very easy. And my friend Dawn, she's the pro. She's in our team. And I call her the pro of shakers card. She is phenomenal at shakers card. It's her thing. And she mailed them to me all the time. She mailed them in the padded envelope. So it's the tall bottle. So you see, you get the tall and I call that the jug. So the jug, it's skinnier. I mean, the tall bottle, it's skinnier. I thought, oh, I'm going to cut this. No, it don't work that way. So this, you don't have a die or whatever. You can cut it by hand, okay? But what I want to show you with this, it is very, very simple to do a shaker's card. So this you're going to remove this. You would put that, oops. Oh, come on, baby. Well, ding gum it. It's simple, trust me. Where's my pick tool when I need it? Here we go. Okay, so <clears throat> you can... Now push that in the back here. So then you can put a window sheet in the back, right? That would make it. Or then you can, you cannot, this year, you cannot really put it there because you see it's the same size. Then it would fit maybe, but not. So really what you would do, it's another piece. Or I got window sheet here or Like I get a window sheet and you can put your window sheet in the back and then you would have whatever you put in. Very simple to do that. And this one here, it is rounded, whatever, but it's not as thick as some of them we get. So I think this would be even friendlier to meal. You're still going to have to put extra postage, okay? Because it is thicker than a regular uh, what they take. So that's how it goes. So you get these uh, little bottles that match with that. Okay, and I got some cards here. Here it is. So um, I did the side. This is a video coming up. It's not the center one, it's the side. And this came from another card, okay? This diamond came from another card when I was placing that in order in my bucket. I'm like, why that? And I'm like, you know what? I like that diamond there. So I'm like, it's staying there. So if you look at my jug, I don't know if you can see. See, I did the crackle. I did that with another thing to We had kind of a terracotta pot. So what I done, I stamp, I use um, the watercolor brush, brush the water, uh, some water on it. And then I took a marker and, and then that in there. So that's how it looked, the crackle there. 
okay and you see it's it's kind of the mystery we did but it's a, sty, a side step instead of the center step so now i got a video when the video come on that i recommend that you watch this because this was kind of tricky for me to uh see how it worked but after i i knew it it was oh it was simple that's coming up shortly okay so now we're gonna move along here's another suite and why i marked this suite here uh, the lovely in linen so this one it's the stamps the punch and an embossing folder and the paper the paper is 12 by 12 so it lists everything there but see this one it's an embossing folder with this suite that's the suite so now what you see it's what you get except if it's noted meaning the size in the catalog that's the size i know a few times we had a few that was not but just i checked quick in this catalog and i think we all got it except the background stamp i'm going to show you that down the road so you see it show you that is a punch while when it's a die it is the same color this time so we just have to look at the bottom so anytime you see that cream color know that it's something to go with it that means it is a die or it's a punch okay so you see in the past they were different color but now i just get caught they're the same color so keep that in mind so this one it's a punch and we're on page 25 by the way okay now one of the stamps said that i cannot i cannot wait to put my hand on when i asked you all that for me it was go to greeting this is the stamp set from sandy art k art cut i don't know how to say her name her million dollar stamp i am so giddy about this set uh am i the only thing that is missing is that just because for me we got just a note, just a note, just a note. See, we got three sides of it. Now we got thank you, thank you, and thank you. Three sides. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Thinking of you, thinking of you, thinking of you. So all the greeting get three sides. And I love the font of it. And we got a little yellow hello is just one of them how amazing this set is like i said the only thing missing for me is the just because because i am a just because type of card remember that right but that i could say just a note for just because but i just love the word just because so this stamp set trust me i'm going to use it a lot i love the fun i love the size love it did i say yet i think so now we're flipping to uh, the next one it's kids and baby and that's on it starts on page 46. here is another bundle that's the happy forest it come with the stamp set the dies the paper and the ribbon see different uh, time and this one it's a uh, diane uh, diane demish million dollar so this one is the third one okay how do i know i mark my number because i don't plan to do them all tonight so then i knew i put the number beside it so for number three so the third one i put this at the bottom and then i had put another mark there so what i do i go just above the the number of the page like so oh number three number three now number four silly me silly me silly me okay 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 just hold on okay so i get my line there it going the other way number three here we go oh i forgot to tell you you see my catalog is on spiral right many people in the past asked me 
for the spiral catalog. Well, I bought myself a machine to do them. They're very time consuming to make and they are on the, the wrist a bit. I did a few extra, not that many. So it's the first come first serve. It's $10 plus your shipping. You can go, I got the link below. So like I said, that's going to be the first one. First come $10 for the spiral catalog. Okay. Okay. So now we got that. So we got this section. It's about the babies. Now the next section, it's about love, thanks and support. So that tell you page 57 to 77. So this one, it's number four. So this one would be at the end. So now I won't do no more after this one because I did a little bit of everything. I mean, one of each. So now you know how I process those label, okay? So you just keep on going. And like I said, I marked the page. Me, I like to put it on the first page on the right because when I, if I put it here, it start here. But if my label were here, when I pull, it would pull to this page. I want it to start here where it start. Now, this is the Abigail Rose. That, I'm a little bit excited about that. I know it's another flipping flowers, but it's something about this that it's calling my name and i'm going to tell you what it is i think i think it's the ribbon and the paper to be honest is it the flower we had something similar to that in the past but let me tell you that paper you know i'm a crumb cake type of person in vintage and then that ribbon that kind of a burlap uh, ribbon ooh la la it make me excited so who knows okay I know I will use a, this a suite down the road. I don't have it yet, but I will have it. So talking about this Abigail Rose, I'm looking where I put my darn device. I swear, people come in this room, move my stuff around. It, and it's only me. What's about it, right? Okay, so... We're going to go under the shopping right now. Oh, not that. Not that, Frenchie, not that. Okay, so under the shopping, when you go shopping in the store, right at the top there, you get, I call it the hamburger buns there, the hamburger, the three little lines. You're going to click on that, and you're going to click shop product. You get branded merchandise. This is new. Before, it was just the demonstrator that could buy uh, the thing. So, with that being said, oh, let's, here we go. It says, sorry, but here, look at that t-shirt. It's not t-shirt, but hoodie. Is that amazing? Mine, it's coming uh, shortly. I order it. Well, you know, that's my type of thing. Uh, I'm an outdoorsy. I don't care if it's 90 degrees outside. I'm going to crank up the AC and then I'm going to come inside and put my Udi on. I just love that Udi. Yeah, the white cream won't stay that white cream. That's okay. Going to have some red, some blue ink, some whatever color ink. I just, it's something about that Udi that make me squeal. And then see, I told you about those cups. We get them all in each in color, okay? They all of it. It's that ombre like that paper. And you get, this is the in color uh, grid paper. So that's the logo here, that stuff. I mean, yeah, it's branded merchandise, but before we call it logo. So that's where you can get it now. Before it was just demonstrator, now you can get it. twice a year yeah i camp a lot so sometimes we camp in the winter it get cool then yes so like i said this was similar to other we had the paper remember sometimes just the paper can do something amazing okay now we're going to keep on going 
and what I get here. So I'm going to put those label away because now you know how to put them, right? Because you see how, and even if they're off a little bit, that it's all good, my friend, okay? Now here's another sweet background dye. Oh, see, I got notes I cannot even read myself. So this one, it's again the paper, then you get the pearls, or it's, what is it? Designer series, iridescent pearl basic, and then you get the dyes. See, you get it just because. I think I will be a sucker for this set just because of that, just because, because it's a lovely one. So this one, I want to bring you your attention to this die. See those checkers that I strongly recommend. If you get this and you plan to use this die, absolutely you want to use the adhesive sheet because that's going to be a you know what to try to glue that without uh, the adhesive sheet. Okay. Okay, what page? That's page 67 we are uh, for the uh, wash and beauty. Is that the question, Samantha? So remember that die. If you order that, absolutely you want to uh, get the adhesive sheet. Now, we're going to go here. Ooh, are you challenged to make masculine card? If you answer yes, you get a winner here. Oh, wait a minute. I miss, I miss an important, important one here. Oh, is it back to? I thought I had my sample in a row. Okay, no, I don't think so. Okay. I must have skipped some place. I'm going to see. If not, I'm going to come back because I get a bunch of cards here that are not in order. Dang it. Okay. If you are challenged with a masculine card, I strongly, strongly recommend to get this, the paper. You get two sheets that are die cut. Okay, now you hear the dog barking. Let me put him out. So you guys, chit chat a minute. I got somebody that I don't want him to pee on my floor. One minute. Okay, sorry about that. And so, uh, you get all those little, uh, I punched them out because when you start pulling one, they all pull out, right? So you see, you get all those things. So really, you can do so much without even the stamp set. I know I'm here to sell you everything, but I know you cannot afford everything because I can't. Well, maybe you get a, a tree in the backyard that uh, grow um, money. If you do, please send me one of those seeds, right? So what I'm saying, even without the stamp set, you can make amazing card. This paper, it is yummy. If you're not an outdoorsy like me, don't sweat it. You get all those nice print in the back. That was, when I did the jug, that was that paper in the back of it. The back, well, I call it the back. I don't know, they don't say a front or back, but I call that the back. See, you get all those very quick uh, pattern uh, thing, but then the other side, you get like for the outdoor, you get the car, the motorcycle, you get the one that like barbecue. So you get a little bit of all that masculine jazz, right? So that is one that if you, like I said, struggle with masculine card, I think that should go on your uh, list right now. 
So with that being said, I got a video coming up on that, but all the cards that I'm going to share right now don't have one bit of ink or stamp on it. It's all the paper. See all the paper. This was the paper, all the paper looking sharp. That's perfect, right? You get the, I don't, didn't even show that print. I think I use it all. Um, hope your day is a great adventure. And this one here, looking sharp. Well, my daughter and soon-to-be husband, they've bought a shagging wagon. So we're the family of shagging wagon, right? We call our van the shagging wagon. So uh, I want to send them uh, that card because they just bought one. So I cannot wait to go camping with the whole family and we all got a shagging wagon. Well, we upgrade a little bit, but still, we love our shagging wagon. Here's to a classic. See? Perfect. So we don't need no stamp. And then I did from when we did, if you join me for um, whatever it's called, the mystery stamping last month or a couple weeks ago, two weeks ago, that was the card that we did, right? I, want, I did an error on this one. Well, I have to say this error was the best thing because I even like it better. So this piece here measured three and a quarter by eight and a half and we score at four and a quarter. Well, I score at four. I'm like, dang gummy. I'm like, I still gonna use it. Well, see, so the, the score in the back, it's four from there and then four and a quarter right in the center. That work even better. See how it go down? It stand even better. So remember that. So it was an error that I say was the best error that I did because I really like the way it stand better. So, and then it still go flat when I want to mail it, it still go flat. So you just add the front, you have to go at four and a quarter, the back it's where the four there. And the reason, because you don't want to have that line in the front. So you will score four, then four and a quarter, and then this is the, the, the front, it's the one at the four and a quarter. And again, this is all paper, no stamping. This is paper. Is that fun or what? So this is, like I said, it's a paper that I think that would be very handy. Now to crank it up a little notch, even just to add, let's say you want a different greeting, I use that's the moment, uh, peaceful moment. That happy birthday, I just put a strip of very vanilla, happy birthday, and I use the dots. That's it. How simple. So for masculine, it's a winner. Now, oops, I still have a piece here. Well, let me put that right there. Okay. Oh, the split die. This year, you know I'm not big on die, but this one intrigued me and I will get it. See this die right here? It's half cut. It, that's the way the die is. So let's look on page 174. 174. So you see right here, that's how when you cut it, that's how it would look. I think this is wicked cool. Okay, very, very, very cool. So they show it here because see the card here in the back? That's what they use. I think that is very, very awesome. So remember at the beginning of the catalog, I was saying if the product, it's new, get an N in red. Like see this one, N in red. That means it's new. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I took a drink, <clears throat> went in the wrong hole. <coughs> so anytime that you see an end, you don't have to worry if you got it or not, if you're just starting with the catalog, because that means it's just get released. Okay? Yes, I think, Teresa, uh, Teresa, I think that is very, very amazing. Yes, page 86. Now, while going through the catalog to get ready for this, this stamp set was not on my radar, okay? And now 
I'm like, what the heck was I thinking not ordering that yesterday? I'm going to have to place another order. I cannot wait to get this stamp set. See how pretty, well, I mean, it's a bonsai tree. I, I like tree. I don't know about bonsai tree. But look for the sun. How amazing that is. You know, I love to use sunset and so on. I'm on page 80 and 9. I cannot wait to get that. And I like the greeting. It's a uh, good friends are forever. Your kindness is a treasure in my heart. Always here for you. You are wonderful in every way. Thank you. Thinking of you. I like that. So this year, mm, I like me. I like, I like, I like. Now, while I was looking at that, I'm like, Ooh, I like that frame right there on the top of page 89. Okay, I was looking for the die for that. It is not a die. It is part of the Texture Chic Memory and More cards. The, you know, those things on page 136. So now I'm going to bring you quick to page 136. Voila. So it's those memory and more cards. You get those die cut in there. That's where it is. How did I find all those answers for us tonight? Again, it's to go in the recipe book and get the recipe, okay? I will add the link. Soon we're done, I will go update my thing and I will add the link for that. Stamping up, give us that so we can absolutely use them. Here is the cards that I thought I had missed. The sun print. The sun print, I will do one sheet wonder with that for sure. I absolutely, did I say love it? Well, I bet you can guess why. Because I'm a blue type of person. I love my blue jeans, right? Well, this year, it's all quick cards. Super quick. And so... I did a bunch of that. So the stamp, this sweet here come with the paper, come with the embossing, uh, the fern 3D, and come with the dies and the, the stamp. Or you can get just the paper also. See, I did quick cards. And they, these were very, very quick. Yes, page 90, 91. See how pretty that is? Look at the daisy punch. Go perfect with that. So you can use old stuff with new stuff, right? Or something you already have. This is beautiful. Did I say beautiful? I will have a one sheet wonder with this. Absolutely. Love it. Love it. See, just remember. How quick is that? This nice uh, frame, it's part of the die too in there. I really like this. Can you see it's raised up? So all around, it's engraved like raised up. And this, I used the, um, oh, what was called? Um, oh, it was called, it was called Time Worn th uh, Type 3D. I embossed that. I stamp in the bag though with this one here and then I emboss it. See, oh now you can see that picture. You know I like kind of vintage so I use that folder for it. And here, so this year it's like a five minutes card really even with the die cut and so on. It's very quick. And see that yellow and see how I done, I used the bigger pearl there, and then I went all around with the next size pearl. Okay, this was all quick card. I mean, I could have went to town with that and do the whole pack. It was so fun. One thing I want to bring you to your attention, though. So you see this print here? It is gorgeous. It make me happy. See this? But this is kind of just blue, right? But if remember, it's two sides to your paper. If you flip it, then it's more like a sky. See that? So 
maybe you want to use this side here like I did on this car. See, this is no stamping except the greeting. And I didn't want to cover that too much. So I used the same frame, but I folded where it stopped rounding and put it in the back. Even if it's a long frame, who said you have to use the whole thing? You don't have to use the whole thing. You can cut it here, cut it there, whatever you want to do. So here it is. I just fold it in the back and I thought that add a little character in the back. So that really here, I stamped the yellow there. That's it. That is it. And then, oh, this is another stamp set I think that go with that. It's not part of that stamp set, but it's one you're going to see me use a lot. Did I say a lot? You betcha. Lots. Lots, lots. The wisteria. That remind me growing up back home with all the lilacs we had. And here we got the mountain ash or whatever it's called, the wisteria they grow wild. It's beautiful. So now when I cut that paper, like I said, I flip the other way and let me show you what I done. So it is a stamp in that package move that there this splatter here you know i like to have character or element stamp and so on that it's perfectly one so i use the reverse of that paper and see i did all that border around is that awesome i mean very little but it changed the whole thing see that splatter around with this make this very yummy very very much and look inside it really do a nice border love it hey holly i think it's time for a door prize or screen prize and it's going to be the voila i lost my phone but i'm going to find it so the first prize it's this so you have to be live. So soon it's done, you're going to go at frenchystamps.com and at the top, you get contact me. You're going to have to come and give me your mailing address. Okay. Now, one minute. Okay, I bet you know where I went. The dogs were outside barking. I don't want them to bark and yeah, no. Okay, so the, the wisteria, that I'm gonna tell you right now, you're gonna see me using a lot. Okay, did I say lots? Yes, a lot. Okay. And the winner, it's Miss Beverly Maine. So congratulations, Beverly. You won the collapsible i if they're come very handy in the room absolutely so the wisteria oh i forgot to see we're gonna back up one this year i did it with the uh peacock not peacock a parakeet and the taishan tie and then i got that embossing folder to there so that was done with this and i wanted different color to show you the difference I'm going to be honest with you, this year, it's not round, 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 okay? It's almost kind of between oval and round, so, uh, but you can, you know, adjust it. Okay, so I'm going to move that back there. Now we get the wisteria. And that, oh, I cannot say enough about it. So you can add it like stand up, see, you get that. You got it. This is going to be my thank you card for not next, not this month, but next month. We're on page 92. So see, oh, it's just beautiful. And I love this greeting. It's a faith. It's about trusting. Is that the truth? Oh my goodness. And now, Okay, you guys are going to have a sneak peek. 
for this month, Christmas year round, uh, I'm using this set. And so now I'm doing, I did a twist this year. So I'm doing uh, like a birthday or any occasion with the Christmas. So this is going to be our, our thing. So here it is with um, the <clears throat> for birthday. So the polka dot there, let me bring you to the back page. Oops. So the polka dot is, oh, I thought this was, it's dot and spots. It's right here. So this is the die right here, dots and spot. Okay. I'm going to put that there. So that is the background of it. And then the circle, it's the one that I shared earlier. It's the stitch shape, not stitch, stylish. Does that come in a bundle? I thought it did. Oh, maybe not. S, 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 S. Stylish uh, shape. So you see, they're not the stitch, they're the little dots. Okay? So that's what I use on that. So I use the dots. I use quite a bit, to be honest. So here is the birthday. So just the wisteria coming down. And here is my Christmas card. How amazing it is fun, right? That was boom. See, it looked like Christmas tree. So this stamp set, it can be used year round. So perfect, so, so perfect. Oh, Catherine, you saw that? Well, sweet. So that would be perfect for Christmas. Okay, I show you this one, I show you this one. I thought I had more. Well, right now I don't see them. So you get a good clue of that. This year, it's a bundle, but this bundle, though, I'll, I told you all along, the bundle come with a die or a punch. Well, I'm going to have to eat my words, my friend, because this bundle come with paper. Let me show you the paper. So you get five of each of the print. See? I'm going to put it on the, and remember, I get an awesome video, tip video on how to glue the vellum. It's with a sponge and liquid glue. See this, does it look like mountain? I think stamping a few trees in this, ooh, can't wait to play with that. And then the circle. And that, you get that in your um, um, paper share also. And then you get eight of just regular uh, vellum. This there, three and a half by, uh, three, three and a half by five, no, what they are? Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Or is it three and three quarter? I don't want to give you the wrong information because somebody going to send me to jail for that. Three and three quarter by five. Yes, it's the first time we get a paper bundle with, I mean, a type of paper like that in a bundle. Yes. So, wanted to make sure that, because I said, you know, it's always a die or a punch. Well, I, I need to catch my breath there. Okay. And I said I had a lot more. They were turning upside down. Here's, I was playing with more here. And see, I embossed the brick folder with that. And so then the one that I'm doing for my thank you card, because I think they look good, those things on brick, with the brick. So all with the new. How much is the, the bundle? The Wisteria, it's $47.50. Or the paper, it is $26. That's the stamp set and the vellum. I don't know if that was the Wisteria, I think they talk about, not sure. So you see with the, the so that you want to stamp first and then emboss, okay? Remember that, stamp first and then emboss. Here I was just playing, see how to, 
you have to be careful because it get those lines so i just use the stamp set with the thing in the back uh, the bottom let me show you what i i meant by that so you see this here when you stamp okay when you stamp this you get one two three you see that that's where the other stamp set gonna come one two three you're gonna stamp that you get your three cluster right there okay well while i was trying to play with that and see how this is going to work best and so on because i knew i wanted to do a thank you card and it have to be quick and so on and i thought hmm i cannot just stamp my uh, leaves there because all those long stem didn't look good so what i done i just used this part of the stem and stamp this part down in between I didn't care if they were attached to the stamp. I just stamped a bunch of them. So keep that in mind because those long thing, if you stamp it like this, it's going to look like a fiasco. Okay? Learn from what I learned. Learn from me. Here we go. See, this looks so much better. Don't you agree? I think so. So Island Ether, gorgeous grapes. It's lovely with that. You get fresh freesia. It's awesome with that. You can do in the blues also. It's really any color, but it is a fun, fun one to do. Very much so. Okay. Remember when we talk about the tulip at the beginning, the sign? So see, you get the reversible there. So that means... You can reverse, you can have the detail in the same step, you turn it around and you get you full colors. I'm gonna share another tip with that in just a minute. This one is the texture chic. Me and Ollie plan to do a class with that one down the road. This one, we got another class, it's coming here. But this, I'm gonna tell you right now, if you want to hold on, we will have a class later this year with this stamp set okay and this what i like about this it's every season we're on page 99 so every season because you get the snowflake you get the fall leaf you get the beach you get the flower and you get some texture kind of a, a cool set okay now this month and this will be announced friday is it Friday it's announced or tomorrow? Mm. Now I don't know when I get my, I think tomorrow my blog, it's not up. It's got a day off tomorrow. Yeah. So Friday I will have um, the <clears throat> information of the class with this. The class include the stamp set and the dies. But if you want to add the paper, you can. Just let me know. I'm going to add the paper for $12 extra. It won't cost you more in shipping, okay? So you can add the paper. And here's the paper. Okay. You guys want to laugh, maybe. But some of you, you know we're all different. And that's what makes the world a beautiful place, right? Yes, 108, 109. Thank you, Ollie. Uh, that's why make uh, this world a beautiful place because we're all different. Well, many of you know that I don't have the patience for dice. I just don't. And I won't lie about it. But I'm still going to share something with you. So, if you take those print, and it's many of them. This paper, it's gorgeous, by the way. It's beyond gorgeous. Uh, that's another paper that you can do wonderful thing with it and you don't need a uh, much I mean you can just do the paper really so okay don't lose the die even I don't use it much don't lose the die so what I'm saying you can take the paper and you can die cut it oh my gosh this time look at that yesterday at team meeting took me forever to match it I was lucky so you can die cut them it match it match with this one it match with this one see 
you can die cut that. It matched with another one to the pointy. It's one with a little stem like that one. It matched with that. So the die going to match with this, but that, oh, it made me, for me, it's, it's too slow for me. So if you're one on the budget and that the die is too expensive for you, don't worry. If you get, this is one of the best die for me. If you don't mind fussy cutting, you can whip that quicker that I can get my machine out for me and align my dies. So it's whatever you like. What I'm trying to say, it's even if it's a die, if you cannot afford it and you can cut, well, go for it, honey, because your friend got a die doesn't mean you have to have the die. Or if you're allergic to fussy cut like me, that make your art go crazy, then get the die. So it's no right and wrong way, okay? So that paper, it's a, this year I'm going to say a lot of the paper, it's a must paper, okay? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So now you saw it match with the die, and then I would say get Ziploc back or those little envelopes, and then boom, you're ready to make some. Okay, now these here, that's not wasted there. Those things here can make, here I'm gonna show you. So don't toss them away, cut those flowers also, okay? Because you're missing portion of it, doesn't mean you have to toss them out. So yesterday at the team meeting, I used the Heart and Home Designer Sear Paper. That's the paper from the mini catalog. I love it with picture. And um, I was too lazy to use the die or to cut the leaves. So I used the punch. This, what is that? Bot, bot punch? So that's the punch that I use. So you can mix stuff that if you already got stuff, you can mix it, right? Bot, B-O-U-G-H, okay? So that's what I use. And see, the three flowers. And then I use the big wish for the greeting. And that was done on a um, slim card. Tomorrow night, it's create on the fly. And I'm going to do something quick, something similar to this, okay? And boom. See? right there see a straight edge that's where our only put one a straight edge right at the corner here it was like straight and straight so it make a nice pocket so with that being said uh, i don't have one here but um well let's say this one here this one is just one Okay, so I could have put that right here if it would see another piece right there. So don't toss them out. You can use those one, okay? Absolutely, you can use them. So that this one, like I said, it was very, like a five-minute card. It's very quick. And then, voila, what remind you of this, right? That is, you bet. Let's flip this. Voila. So that's, I was not sure the green, it's granny apple green, I was not sure, but I pulled the recipe and it tell me what to use. So that was fun to create. It don't give you the size, so you just go whatever. And here's the border that's part of this die here. Okay. Oops. So that was exactly the catalog. And now I use again those round circles. It's not stitch, it's stylish shape. Um, those little dots. And here, I didn't stamp. This is all the paper. This is the paper also, because remember, we get the two sides. So that's that paper again. Beautiful. 
see how simple it is? Very little stamping on that. Now I got it on this one also, but this here, it's that, can you see that paper? It is beautiful, oops. This here was like the card we did with the gold when Ollie was here for Create on the Fly, but this is the back of this paper. See those bags? Sometimes you don't want flowers. It's not everybody flowers, but look at that. Is that fun? Absolutely, it's fun. So here is those flowers again. Oh, that's the other one that I share. And so let me, uh, that paper, well, let's wait when we're at the paper. We're almost there. Let me show you the class in the mail. This, all the information will be posted uh, Friday. So here is a card. So you get the stamp set, the die, and all cut out for you. Here's another one. Here's another one. And see that die, it's part of it. Here is one. And you don't need the punch because everything comes to you prep. And here's another one. And here's another one. And this one, it's pop-up flowers. I was too lazy for that. Okay. So, but it's all uh, in the instruction. Um, Ollie and I do our class together. Okay. So now we're going to go over here. I got this one. I got that for um, uh, an event I did with Stamping Up. I did this. Remember, I had Wisteria in my head. And this one over here, that's remind me a bit of that. I'm going to be honest with you. It's not my favorite, that one, okay? Absolutely, no. This year, I'm going to have a video on this because this is on white paper. Believe me or not, it's on white paper. So stay tuned. I will have a video for this. Okay. Now, background stamps. So the background stamps, see, they're not at the full size. Everything else was the full size. But this year, the little circle show you the full size. So this year... Here we go. So a full size, it's bigger than a card front, really. See? It's a little bit bigger than a card front. So it's about five and a half by four and a quarter. That's uh, page 116, 117. So that is the background stamp. I bet you can tell me which one I'm going to be using right away. This ray of light is calling my name like no tomorrow. Cannot wait to play with that. Cannot wait to play with the thank you with those flowers there. Absolutely love this. Again, it's crumb cake maybe. Love it, love it, love it. You know what? I need to shut this. Here we go. So that's the background stamp. But you see the ray? You can stamp anything in the center of that. It's just a poof. I cannot wait to play with that. So this, it's all background stamp. I say a background stamp, when you stamp with it, you leave it down, bring your paper, and then you rub it, put your ink, or you use the stamparatus. That's the best way. Oh, Pat, you make me laugh. Pat said, uh, fussy cutting, it's a dirty word. That is so funny. I know many of you don't like fussy cuts, so that's why we got a lot more dyes, right? So it's something for everybody, I say. Angel policy. What's the angel policy? Okay, any of you out there that like to make your card and sell your card, if you use a stamping up image, let's say you use this ear, you have to put the copyright in the back. That's just the policy. So that means that the image that you stamp on your card, it's copyright by stamping up, stamping up on that image. That's what it means. If you get an old uh, one that stays stamping up with the copyright, an old stamp set, you can use that one. It don't have to be a new one, but it's explained here what is the angel policy. Now, if you don't sell your cards, let's say you just send them or give them away and so on, you don't have to have the policy of 
the angel policy. Okay, my voice was getting harsh a little bit. I had to take a drink. And so remember that that is if you sell your car. Page 119. Okay, then we're at page 120 to 123. This is all our color. So first we get the in color, then we get the bright, we get the neutral, the regal, the subtle, the basic. In this, you get the cardstock, you get the stamping pad, the refill, the blends. That's where you find your stuff. You get the basic collection here. That's the white, the black, the vanilla. Okay. Now, the neutral, not neutral, but the natural tone, neutral tone, natural tone, that of the blends, though, it is on page 128. Right here, number one, neutral tone. All the other one, the blends are with the colors. But remember we said that was carryover. They're on page 128 right here. Right there. So everything you need for that. Then we get the storage. Then we get the adhesive page. Then the assortment bundle. So the assortment bundle... You can get the ink pad, 10, like each family, you save 10%, the ring for 10%. They had put the old on them because the manufacturer was behind. To be honest, I'm not sure it's turned back on. Then if you want the regular marker for the family, they just sell by family, that's the regular marker, it's right here. Watercolor pencil here, the chalk, well, soft pastel, right at the bottom and the full set of marker right here and then you get the in color the markers and so on over here too are the uh, like the in color it's five set of ink pad and so on you get all that right here the refill for the in color are not uh, sold in a bundle so you have to buy it here the refill okay you have to buy them one by one Okay, now 127 was the adhesive. It's all over here. We're going to turn to page. Okay, here you got a little bit of like what I call the technique page me. The wow factor, it's called. So you got like the Stazong, the Memento Ink, but then you get like the paste. You get the embossing folder. You get the daubers. You get the mask, you get the watercolor brush, you get the stamping spot, and then you get the plain one. I love the stamping spot for the, what you may call it, let me think, for the stamparatus, because it's little, you can go like this, even if it's a big stamp set, it don't go on the side. I love it. You get the spritz, the blends, now you get the paper. Like I said, the paper, it's phenomenal this year, phenomenal. Okay, I, I am so happy with the paper. So, so happy. Here, it tell me I get a sample. So here is the Perfectly Pencil. The Perfectly Pencil, it's all in black and white. How many of you love black and white? So many of us. Well, what is the beauty about black and white? You can take a black and white and see all the different prints. It is amazing. You can take this and then decide you want to add a little splash of color. See? Very simple, right? If you want that coloring make you therapy, here we go. This is color with stamping blend. Some of you are going to ask me, can you color that with watercolor? Well, you can color with the pencil watercolor, but I wouldn't add water because this is just very thin paper. So you can use the color like this. And let me show you a piece. Okay. <clears throat> So what I mean by the watercolor, 
you can take your watercolor and color this. But I would not take, okay, where's my, uh, right here. I would not use my water to color it. You could do a very little, but I'm telling you, you would have to be very, very gentle. Or you can take that here, and you can take your uh, blending pen, and then with the blending pen, oh, this one gets some white, you can color them. That's going to blend them. So that would be another way you can use them, okay? Now here's another way you can use them. Here we go. So you can, uh, you could sponge it, all the background. So all in sponge, that would work also. But here's another one that I color. So sometimes you want just to be in peace and quiet and get your coloring, that would be awesome. So yes, the blend, uh, it's great, or you can use uh, the blend pen, the blending uh, marker, or you can use very little in the water. Like I said, very, you have to be very, very gentle, okay? Or you can leave it just plain. And here is with the red. Is that, I think it's so pretty. So you can have any color you want, any color you want. That's what it's, the beauty of black and white, you can make it any color you want. Now this paper here, it is lovely. I had some sample, I don't know where they went. Uh, hmm. Well, I just don't know where they went. Okay, so let's keep on the designer series paper. And over here, that was the sun print. I share a lot of that, right? And then the pattern are new this year. So it seems every year they come with a new pattern. So that you get the full pack of like the in color or the neutral and so on. So the, the, the print, it's all the same. It's just the color are different. So you get the little flower. Let me show you the print here. So you get the little flower and you get the stripe in the back. You get what I call kind of the checkers, right? And dots in the back. And I think that's it, right? The dots. Yeah, so you get four different patterns. And that come in all the family or the collection, whatever you call it. I call it the family me. Because way back in the days, that's what we used to call it. Family color. So that come in the six by six, okay? And this one here, it's the O's. But you don't have to be an O's to get it. I will cover that in a minute. So that's, and I get some card using that because I play with the in color here. So here it is, the paper in the bottom and here it's stamp above. Here it is, see that folder here? Here it is. And I thought I had every color, yeah. I did one in every in color, okay? To show you the prints. And here it is. Very simple. But for me, simple, it's lovely. Okay, now we're going to flip again, and this is the memory and more. Cannot wait to see those cards here. The texture sheet there, mm, I just cannot wait to see that. So that's where you get the memory and more. It's not just for scrapbook. You can do cards with that. At most time, I tried to get the kit and do cards with it. Last year, I didn't get around it, put it that way. These are the tea uh, boutique uh, card that come in the in color. And then the envelopes that I show you, show you the card that I did last night. We're on page 136, 137. So this is the cards and envelopes here. We got it in the craft now, the note card in the craft. 
and it come with a box, the box that's included in that, okay? Keep that in mind, the box that's included. Now, here is the specialty paper. The specialty paper come with the my uh, paper share. So this paper here, it's called the brush stroke. Oh, check that out. Is that pretty? So I embossed with it. It's embossed very lovely. See, all embossed. Very, very, uh, oh, I wish you guys can reach and touch it. See this? Very pretty. So it, it's three color. It's Night of Navy, Soft Succulent, and Blushing Bride. That's very pretty. And then you get the glimmer paper. That come, if you decide to join my team, that come with that. Here is the glimmer paper here. See, it's the ombre, just like those cups, right? It's not just the light. It is ombre, okay? Maybe you're thinking it's the light, but no, it is ombre. See, it's lighter at the top, coming darker at the bottom. Et voilà. And it's a, a nice size. It, you, that you can punch, you can die cut, you can cut. It is very friendly, very much. So um, let me, uh, I'm going to use, I like to show more a detailed punch when I say it worked lovely in the punch. Et voila. So, and then die cut also, very simple. And then you can cut. It's very, very friendly paper. Okay. Well, okay, I can do that later. Make that long there. So the vellum that I show you that was coming with the bundle, you can buy it separately also over here. The Distress Gold Specialty Paper, I cannot wait to see it. It looked very interesting. And then you get Wrap It Up. That is, for some reason, the regular white paper, it's here. The tick and that, it's on page 140. Why it's there, I don't know, but it's with all the, um, uh, the bags. We got these new bag here. It's peekaboo treat bags. They're kind of nice. See, you got a window in the center of them. So, and that is food is safe. So, uh, if you do like goodies and so on, that is food safe. So you get that over here. Then we start with the embellishment. Those dots here, it happened. I do have them. They're coming the in color very nice size they're thick a little bit but they still you can mail them put something on top of it and you get all so we got three page of embellishment it started at 141 42 43 is that amazing i think we got a lot of embellishment this year absolutely lots now this year those beads number eight it's called uh, Effersent Element. I don't know how to say it, but they are little beads that would be great to put in the shaker scarf. Absolutely great to put in the shaker scarf. Now we get the ribbons. And so we get two page of ribbon, page 145, ribbon and trim, I should say, and 148. Now we get the the tools and so on okay now everybody that plan to get oh not that page sorry dang it okay number nine everybody you need that on your order form trust me everybody should enter the number one five five four eight zero number nine on page 149 it's one five five four eight zero I don't have them, but I understand them because uh, I don't have my order yet. It's those, you know, when I do masks and so on, it's those masking paper. So you can mask, stamp, and you know when I do all those weird things? Yeah, and then when I'm going to do this here, we're going to need the mask paper. See, that was a white paper. 
and boom. So we're going to need masking paper for that. So that again, it's on page 149. And that's where you get your blog, your stamping cleaner, and so on. Yes, masking paper. Okay, then you get the bundle of the punch. Remember, anytime you see bundles, it is 10%. Okay, throughout the catalog, when you see your stamp set and so on, it's the true size over here. Here, it is not the true size. Remember that, okay? When they show the whole thing here, it is not the true size. So you get all the punch, the bundle, and then you get the one that are not the bundles, but it's right here. Now, like this one here, it don't come in the bundle, but it's a new one. That's the decorative circle. It's kind of like wavy circle. So that's the punch. Now you get the tools. And then here, that's where I thought when I pulled this one, okay, I want everybody's ears on me. If you've been waiting for the magnetic cutting plate, they finally get it back and it's improved. It's a lot thicker, so it shouldn't be bow. Remember we added, they pull it out the market for, took almost two years. Okay, everybody's ears on me because it's going to tell you to use plate one, two, five, and three, or one, five, two, and three. Remove the two. The two, number two, put the X on it. So in your magnetic plate, you're going to use plate number one. You're going to use your magnetic, that's plate number five. Then you're going to use your paper, your die, paper, die, and then three, okay? The instruction, it's still with the old one, I think. It's an error. It tells you to use plate number two. That's a no-no. So you're going to use plate number one. Plate number two. No, 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 okay? No. You're going to put your magnetic plate. Let's say that I don't have it yet because my order is not here. Let's say that's your magnetic plate. You're going to put your paper. You're going to put your die. And then you're going to put a three and roll it through, okay? So remember, this year, no. Absolutely no. So it's one, your magnetic plate, your paper, your die, and then number three. That's going to be your sandwich. Okay, uh, about the post-it note, let me uh, tell you the story about that. I saw the question there. So if you get post-it note that it's covered the whole thing post-it note that's great go for it and use it absolutely most post-it note you just get the sticky at the top so when you come to it's going to roll many times like when i do scenery and so on so i used to have the label the removable label i use them see all the time it is a must-have in my room, and you can use them over and over. You see they're all over around my area here. So, again, it's a choice you're going to have to make, but for me, it's one of the most, uh, most wanted add-on in my room. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So that's the difference. If you get posted that it's all covered in the back, it should work the same. So you don't worry about it. But if you don't have that, mm, you want them, I say. Okay, so we were talking about the magnetic platform. You get, we get this one. They got number nine. It's the mini. This one here, not yet. It's not, av not available yet, okay? They got the big one in, but the small one, it's not yet available. 
And then they talk about the machine. And here is now the bundle of uh, the dies. So dies and stamp set, you get them all here. You can see them. All the one that it's offered in a bundle, it's 10% discount. Again, on those page, the, the size, it's not true. Now, I want to bring your attention to when you see this, the mini, 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 mini. That means every, every die in the set will fit in the mini. Now, this one here, you don't have the mini. That means it's at least one stamp, and uh, not stamp, but one die that will not fit in the mini. Here we go, more and more. See here, they did, that's where I get my idea of my uh, Christmas tree. See this? That's where I get, I'm like, oh, that's going to be my Christmas in May. That's where I get that, my idea of that. So this one, remember when I show you that, this one here, absolutely you want to have the adhesive sheet for that because it's going to be a nightmare gluing that without that. Now you get dies without a bundle. I want to bring you, okay, this one I show you the sample. This one here, I ordered them. I cannot wait to see them. It's framed, but it's all like uh, a decal around. That again, if that's something you can do by hand. If you're like, oh, I'd rather have another stamp set than that, absolutely. You have to make your budget, I understand. But this is kind of a fun shape, especially to layering. It's going to be fun, I think. And this is another, the frame, the fancy frame, that I would say it's another one. Absolutely, you want it to have the adhesive sheet. Oh, okay, back up the bus. Back up the bus. Page 69. Page 69, no, 89. It's a nine. Back up the bus. This year, I told you it was part of the uh, Chic Memory and More. No, no. See, this frame on page 89, it's this one right here. Fabulous frame. Right here. 171. So I'm going to mark in this. 171. Is it fabulous? Yeah, fabulous frame. I won't make the mistake again. Okay? Because I really like that frame. Really, really like it. So if some of you already left and you say I said that, well, I'm sorry. I just caught my own mistake. It's those frame here. So, and um, that I show you the sample. Okay, here's another one that it's kind of different. This year, the pretty pop-up. So if you look on page 17, you're going to see what it, they call about the pretty pop-up. You see all that, it's all part of the die. So if you look on page 17, they just take their pick tool and lift that up so you can color them with whatever you want. You can color it with marker, blends, or a little bit your blend pen, whatever. So you can lift that up and see that's what it's called the pop up. So it kind of cut but not cut the whole way. Okay, so that is this one right here, the pretty pop up. It's kind of different. Yes, that is the die on that page. Right there, the die pad. So that is there. And ear split. Split. Oh, oh. Okay, we talked about that earlier. It was with the tool, the page of the tool. This is the one that is split. That's going to be an interesting one. And that you don't really need the adhesive sheet because you get a 
you know, if you do a big one, you can glue it just on one side. Or if you cut it right there, well, then maybe you want the adhesive sheet, but still then you get place to add your glue there. That it's not a must. It would be friendly, but you can do without, okay? Now talking about all the different dyes and so on, this is a returning dyes, but I want to bring your attention because it's in the dyes, but it's not really a dye. It's a stitch. It's called the stitch granary. So really it do all the, like the stitch. So it don't per se cut those flowers. It's all stitch it. Okay. So remember that. It's a dye, but not a dye at the same time. Put it that way. And this year, it's another one that, uh, oh, it's a special name for that. The twig and sprig, it's the embossing for, uh, hybrid. It's called the hybrid. So you can put the die and the folder together. Hybrid, okay? Right here, page 175. And the stitch, the stylus uh, shape that replaced the stitch framelits, frames, I mean, right here on page 175. Yes, Ollie used the stitch granary quite a bit, yes. Yes, absolutely. And then you got all the embossing folder. So let me give you a little uh, Tim bits about the embossing folder. So the embossing folder, you got the mini. So when you see the mini, that means those one you can pass it in the mini folder, uh, in the mini machine. But know that if you plan to use that for like the full size of the card, it's smaller. So, but the mini always come in a pack of two, two different, like this is one of my favorite one. It's this stripe and splatter. I love this one. That's a return from the mini. And then you get the regular one. Now you get the one that you get the 3D. So with the 3D, then you just use the number one and then using with 3D, then you're gonna use the platform four. If it's a, a thin one, like, let me grab one. I think I get one. Yes, so here is the Gingham. This one, it's thin, it's not a 3D. So that one, you're gonna use plate number one, plate number three, this with your paper, and then back one. You don't have to make notes, my friend. It's all over here. It tells you right on this. That's what I love about our machine. It tells you everything there. Okay? So, with that being said, if it's a thick one, it's, say, you 3D. That's another reason why I like to have my labels, right? But you're going to see right away by the thickness, okay? So, now, with that being said, when you do your sandwich in your mini, let me show you one thing, one minute. Okay. In your mini, it doesn't matter what you're going to use. If you're going to do die cut or if you're going to do embossing folder or what. You don't want to put your plates all equally. You want to stagger them. Because the roller cannot grab good when they're all together. So you see, just off a little bit. So you're going to put this. You're going to put this here. And then whatever this and there so they all stagger a little bit and that will engage a lot better okay remember that that's going to make a big difference in your mini machine i know many of you was frustrated with it it's because it was the way that you were trying to engage it all equally it's too much to get started okay so now we're going to see here, they show back that. 
Now we're going to turn. Okay, this is where I want to have your attention. I know that it say, you know, OS at one place in the catalog. Stamping.com host. See, it say OS over there. Scratch that. That OS need to be scratched. And so then someplace it was telling us the paper. Where was See, I don't have my uh, paper mark yet. Here, see O's there? That, we need to put an X on that, okay? And the reason why I want you to put an X on that, it's because anybody, you don't have to hold a party for that. You can get all the stamping rewards anytime you place an order, and you can combine your order with your friends, that's perfectly fine, or your personal order, it's fine. Uh, when you reach 150 and above, you can, you're going to get this, okay? So remember that, anytime you reach 150, it's a party sale. Don't need the party, okay? Don't need that. You don't even need a party. You can have your own personal party put it that way so any order of 150 and above need not need but will get the stamping rewards so it's 10 percent of 150 or 160 all the way to 300 from 300 to 450 well 440 uh 449.99 whatever would be 12 percent then 14 percent and 16 percent of the amount that you can choose let's say you're getting 20 dollars your order was 200 dollars you get 10 percent you're going to get 20 dollars you can choose anything in the catalog you can have two different pack of paper whatever you want but you that's the only time you can shop from this here i mean shop or choose for free so you can get sit, stay, relax. You can get that stamp set, Garden Granda, Garden Granda. That's Granda. It's French. You can get begin with a dream, and here is all the paper. The paper, it is. It's a twelve sheet. Scratch that up. It is forty eight sheet. And is it in? I think it's wrong in the paper too. No, here it's correct. Here it's correct. Here it's a 48 sheet, four of each double sided. Okay, right here. This is not the host, 115 above. But right here, put an X on the 12 and put 48. Okay, that was an error. It's not two of each, it's four of each. And it is. I think it is six, though. I should have kept that page, right? Well, I'm going to get it straight in one of those days. Four of each of 12 double-sided 12. Here we go. Okay, so all this description was wrong. It's right at the other page. So just remember that you can get all that paper... Uh, so let's say that you get $20, it would take $18 out of it, okay? So just remember that, that you can get this. And then in the back, you get the stamp index. So if you, sometimes you look for a stamp set, you cannot find it, you know the name, you can look at the page index. And also we get the accessory index page here. Okay, so now I'm checking my notes. My class, product label, join, mini machine. I went through that, the magnetic plate, the branded, and May 24. So May 24, let me, uh, okay, whew. May 24, it's, um, that's going to be the, the next kind of live class. I mean, Thursday night, I do my create on the fly, okay? I will be live tomorrow night, same time than tonight. It's going to be 5 Pacific, 6 Mountain, 7 Central, and 8 Eastern time. But on the 24th, 
more that's a wednesday it's going to be a mystery stamping with a twist with color combos i got all the information on my blog on the right side you can scroll and you're going to see that right there it's i'm going to have that up by tomorrow because i'm going to remove this one okay so uh, save the day for that it's going to be fun make sure that right below you get that subscribe button subscribe hit the little bell and say yes to all notif excuse me notification that should get you notified when i go live so any question okay now oh my goodness ollie she picked a winner and i cannot pronounce it so i'm gonna spell it for you okay it is okay that is for the tumbler here the mug it is and i can only mail in the u.s if you're not from the u.s please pick up right away okay it's birdie i think okay oi oika it's b-i-r d-i-e b-i-r-d-i-e last name h-o-i-k-k-a -K so bed and birdie i don't know if that's the way you say it please um here we go uh, go on my blog at frenchystamps.com right at the top I get the contact me go claim say i was a winner during your walkthrough or during your live and i'm going to mail that to you tomorrow you have to be present to win so i'm looking so that's about it so remember right now the customer appreciation it's with 20 dollars. you get the download for the labels for the product the labels for the catalog that I show you tonight, it is free to everybody. If you appreciate what I do, I just ask for a small token, a small order off and on here and there to show me your appreciation like I show my appreciation to you. And um, so that's uh, those things. It was one more thing I wanted to say. Mm. It's... Uh, Oh, to join my team, if you get any question, please let me know. I feel my head is all spinning right now. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much, everybody. See you tomorrow night. And I bet tomorrow night is going to be very, very quick because I uh, second the, the paper share. So I'm going to be surrounded with paper. So it's going to be a very quick uh, card tomorrow night on the fly. And then I'm going to be working on the paper. I'm just looking if I see question there. Perfect. So that is it. Oh, I got some card that I didn't show here. Oh, I need to show it. That's it. You know what? I need to show them. Okay. More cards that. And this is, I'm working on the color thing. And this is on the printout. Remember? Here is the printout. I'm, I'm going to do one for every one of them. Here is the parakeet. And talking about, I'm doing one for everyone. I do, so this is with the garden green and orange. The garden green is there. Here is with the pool party and night of, oh, pool party and night of navy. And this is with the poppy parade. So that's stamping up combo. Now, this is my own combo. I did Blackberry Bliss, the Parakeet, and Melon Mambo. Okay? So, that, I'm going to have all those videos, but I'm going to have every one of them, I do a different uh, one. This one here, I used that glitter paper or that glimmer paper, and this was the Sweet Sherbet. And here is with the pool party, uh, balmy blue, right here. Now with the mossy, right here. And with the pool party, right here. And my own combo, I did mango, the sherbet, and garden green. 
very different, right? So this is a great way, if you get struggle with the colors, Stamping Up give us this tool. Before, way in the days, we have to buy it, right? Now, Stamping Up give it to us. It is amazing. I got a video just on that, that I share all like the 40 colors and how to put it on the thing also. It is one of the greatest tools Stamping Up give us for free. I got the link on my blog for all of you to print it out. It is free, okay? Free. So how many of you are from uh, Texas, uh, Houston air area, and you watch the commercial with Matt? Uh, is it Matt? Matt. Max? Matt. Free, free, free. You know which one I'm talking about, right? Well, that's this is completely free. You just have to go to my blog and I get the link there for you to do it. Wow, I still see we got 500 viewers. So some of you may be arrived late. Remember, this is recorded. You can go and watch the replay. Soon it's done, you're going to be able to watch the replay, okay? So thank you, thank you so much for your support. I appreciate you more than you know. All of you that uh, place an order here and there with me or or a die art um, customer of mine. Thank you so much. And um, if you wonder, I'm looking where I put my catalog now. Um, for the spiral catalog, if you want, like I said, I get very little. I get the, in the description, you get the link there. Have a lovely day, my friend. Bye-bye for now.